In this video, we built a successful valet parking business, starting with zero dollars and a golf cart. We encountered many issues along the way, but still managed to come out on top. All right, boys, my valet company got hired to work at a gigantic mansion tonight. They got security guards. Oh, geez, they look intimidating. And he said he's got a ton of guests with fancy cars, so we're going to have just myself on valet hopefully it doesn't get overwhelming but we're going to be putting them all in this lot right here should be about 50 guests we're looking for so it's gonna be a lot of cars there's a lot of nice ones coming in tonight so we got a couple of chargers too because i've heard there's electric porsches and some teslas so we're gonna wait for the guests to show up they're supposed to come at around 6 30 it's 6 25 so we got here perfect timing security is just making sure everything's safe and this is the mansion check it out the owner's around here somewhere he might be getting ready but this is the jacuzzi. There's a massive pool. Look how clean that pool is. And they got a full Capri Sun bar. Check it out, boys. It's absolutely crazy. But yeah, we're going to wait for the first guest to come in. We're going to start valeting cars. And uh, there's a little bit of a twist to it. I'm going to steal the cars, guys. Don't tell anyone, all right? I'm going to, at the end of the night, pick the nicest one. I'm going to take it home without asking, okay? I can't. I got to be quiet because there's a security guard. Oh, there's one right there. Why is he staring right at me? Okay. Anyways, let's valet some cars, get our work done, and uh, take a car without asking. Oh, here comes a guest. Rolls Royce. Holy biscuits, that's a nice one. Hey, sir, how's it going? Yep, I'll go ahead and take your car, valet here. Thank you so much, yeah. All right, enjoy the party. All right, he's going right on in. Let's get this car parked up. This thing is nice. It's got black rims, gold accents. Yeah, this is awesome. Got my orange valet shirt on as well. All right, we're going to back it in right here. Looks good. All right, first car is parked, and we have to pack these things in like crazy if we got 50, 60 cars coming in. So uh, we're going to have to pack them in pretty tight and save the charger space for electric vehicles. So, well, you know the process of a valet, man. You just valet's cars, so we're going to wait for the next one to come in. That'd be nice to get some Lamborghinis and Ferraris here. That'd be cool, too. Oh, my gosh. Here comes another one. This is a Porsche. Dang, look at that thing. Valet here. I'll go ahead and take your car. Thank you, sir. All right, looks like he's going to have some fun. Now, these guys are getting right out of their cars. It's like they trust me with their million-dollar cars. It's crazy. Oh, jeez, this thing's fast. Holy biscuits, boys. Give it some donuts. Oh, yeah, boys. All right, perfect. We're going to categorize it based on the brand of the car. So, like, there might be a couple Porsches coming in, so we'll line up the Porsches. So that way when someone says, oh, I got the Rolls-Royce, we got them all in one spot. So that's nice. You can kind of just run out there to keep them organized. And uh, I guess, uh, yeah. That's how we'll do it because we have to bring them all the way around when the people want to get their cars and head out of the party. So that's our job. And they're going to tip us too. But look at this guy. He's flying in. BMW X7. Look at this thing. What a beast. Hey, sir. Enjoy the party. All right. Let's park this car up. Looks good. And then I actually put the keys all on a rack over there. I'll show you where I keep them all. BMWs are going to go right there. Looks good. But right behind these bushes, I got a rack full of keys. And that's where I just put them all in a lockbox so I keep them safe. Looks like everyone's starting to enjoy the party. I might need to do some upgrades on the golf cart. Lift it up a little bit. Make it look a lot more beefier. That'd be cool. Oh my gosh, it matches our golf cart. Hey, sir. Uh, yeah, I'll take care of your car. I'll wash it up for you, too. All right, thank you, mate. Appreciate it. Have a good day, mate. Uh, yeah, you too. Enjoy the party. All right, guys, here we go. McLaren. Oh, geez. I'm going to be real careful with this one. This one is not cheap. All right, let's swing it around. Back it in. Looks good. Go ahead, turn it off. Okay, we're, we're getting some cars in here. We're making some progress. I'd say the top one on our list is that McLaren. You didn't hear anything. All right, you hear that? No, you didn't. Okay. This mansion's insane. Look at all these uh, flowers, too. Oh, buddy. Here comes, uh, what is this? Oh, it's a Hummer. Hey, watch out, buddy. Oh, jeez. Hey, you better not be driving like that later. Hey, go enjoy the party, sir. I hope you have a good one. I'll take care of your Hummer. Holy biscuits, guys. These airless tires. Dang, this thing's a beast, too. Let's check it out. Oh, my gosh. It's massive. Look how much space is in here. There's a whole computer. Yo, Arnold, check out this thing, man. It's insane. Pull it in. We're going to back it up. I don't think there's going to be any kind of vehicles like this. No similar ones, at least. So let's just, you know, put it in the corner. All right, let me lock it there, okay? It's all good, secure. 
Oh my gosh, there's already another one here. Oh, look at that one. That's all tinted out. Look at this thing. That looks like a lot of horsepower under there. Hey, sir, how's it going? Oh, hey, I think I know you. Are you an actor? Uh, nope, I forgot. Never mind. Okay, enjoy the party, sir. You know what? I think he actually might be famous. Huh. All right, let's park his BMW up. Look at this thing. This is pretty sweet. All right, BMWs. Oh, yeah, we got the red one over there. Let's park it up next to it. All right, we got the BMWs there. We got a line of those going. Oh, my gosh, I can hear like a super fast jet engine. Oh, jeez, look at that thing. Oh, it's a motorcycle. Look at this. Hey, sir, how's it going? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take great care of your motorcycle. Don't worry about that. Do I need a helmet or am I good? Okay, all right, yeah, I'm just moving it like 20 feet, so we'll be good. There we go. Okay, how do you fire this thing up? Oh, the button there. Okay, got it. Perfect. Uh, oh. Oh, jeez, man, I'm flying. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, we're good, we're good. Nice and easy, guys. I got it. Come on. Oh, jeez, oh, jeez. Okay, we're good, we're good. Uh, let's just stop here, okay? I don't want to make any more problems. All right, we're good. Let's get over there. Come on, there's going to be more people coming in. As of now, we got seven guests. It's starting to fill up. This place is going to be pretty crazy, too. Once I get about 20 cars in here. Look at this thing, man. Audi R8. I've seen these before. Hey, how's it going? Nice car here. Yeah, enjoy the party. I'll park your car for you. Valet's on, uh, on the owner of the house. All right, guys. Let's park this thing up. Absolute beast. I don't think we have any Audis yet. So we're just going to throw it over here by the Rolls Royce. Already got that park. We already got another person coming in. Oh my gosh, look at that SUV. Range Rover SVR. I've seen these around. Look at this. Oh, he's got the doors open. We got a guest there. Looks good. All right, yep. Oh, it's on the right side. You got to drive it on the right side. Okay, uh, I think I can do it, sir. I'm going to park your car for you. Enjoy the party. All right, let's get in here. Oh, look at this beast. All right, I got the doors closed. We're all set. Let's park it up. Range Rover. I'm going to put it next to the Hummer because we don't have any Range Rovers yet. Lamborghini, boys. That's what I've been waiting for. Hey, sir. Wait, it's Banana Man. Banana Man, what's up, dude? Hey, hey, go ahead. Uh, step out of your car. Yeah, yeah. Enjoy the party. I'll park your car for you. All right, guys. This is going to be the showcase vehicle. We're going to put it right here in the front. Look at that. Okay, we're going to put that right out front. Looks great. Rolls Royce Phantom. Look at it. Beautiful. Oh, he's got airbags. Oh, my gosh. Hey, sir. Enjoy the party. Have a good one. All right. Let's back in the Rolls Royce next to the other one. Looks good. These two are pretty sweet. We got a Phantom and a Wraith. Look at that. Oh, this one's got the, the Star Glow pattern. Pretty sweet car. Okay. Anyways, let's lock it up. And we got some cars in here, too. So we only should have about a couple more cars coming in if I have it correctly. Oh, we got a Ferrari here. Hey, sir. How's it going? What is up, man? You want to park my car for me? Yeah, yeah, I got you. I'll park your car. There's a nice Ferrari here. I buy it from Italy, straight from factory. Wow, that's great, man. I, uh, I like it a lot. Uh, enjoy the party. Yeah, man. I'll see you later. Sounds good. Enjoy the spaghetti. Hey, you judge me because I'm Italian. I'm just messing with them. Okay, this one's going to go out front, too. We're going to back it in next to Lambo. Right there. Looks good. I don't think we're going to have many cars left. If I have it on my checklist correctly, we should have a couple more cars coming in. According to security, they're going to shut the gates soon. I haven't got any electric cars tonight, but I think we should have a couple coming in. So that's going to be cool. Oh, speaking of electric vehicles, check it out. Tesla coming in on some crazy lift and tires. Look at this thing. Absolutely crazy. Oh, he lowered it down. Crazy. Hey, sir. Oh, he just came from uh, horse polo. Nice helmet. That guy tipped me a $50 bill, too. He's a nice guy. We're going to charge his vehicle for him so he can get home on a full charge. All right, green light means charge, and we're good. All righty, perfect, guys. Well, let's take our car home and uh, have ourselves a great night. I think this is the winner. Hey, how's it going, Tim? I just got to take the uh, STO for a little spin around the driveway. I think something's, like, broken on the left tire. I'll be right back, all right? Tell the boss I'll be back. Hey, yeah, I'm not coming back. Okay, we're out of here, boys. I got a Lamborghini. We are escaping. Um, We've got no signs of it. See you later, Carl. Okay, we're all good. Security guards have no alert that we just stole a valet vehicle. And our, we left our golf cart. The thing's $10,000. So I'm not worried about it. And we are heading out of here. 
Here we are. We're pulling in to the new parking garage. Now, check this place out. It is eight stories, cost $10 million to build. And today, we're going to be the valet man for all the rich people that are going to be bringing over their fancy cars. Uh, because there's a party going on at the courthouse right down the road there. It's like a New Year's party, uh, you know, sort of thing. They like to celebrate uh, about all the laws they made. So, yeah, a lot of them have super nice cars. And uh, we're going to be parking them in this garage. There's eight floors. I don't think we're going to be using all of them. There's about 20 guests on the list. And, yeah, it's pretty simple. We just got to, you know, take the entrance here, go park the car, and then the exit. But I want to do some cone management because they could get lost pretty easily. Uh, just because, you know, directing traffic flow um, of bringing cars in and people leaving, it can be pretty chaotic, especially with people walking around. So we brought eight cones with us in the literal cone. I mean, this thing is orange, my truck. It's a 1970s, boys. This thing's a beast, though. Uh, but yeah, anyhow, this is this has been pretty good. We're going to unstrap all the cones here, and then we're going to start placing them down uh, wherever we think is best. But I want to create, like, a path for people to walk when they're walking over from the courthouse. Alrighty, perfect. So if we create an entrance, sort of, you know, we'll just put cones down the middle. I think that's probably the best fit. Uh, yeah, let's just put eight, eight cones down the middle. That'll probably be the best. Oh my gosh. These are actually pretty heavy. They're 50 pounds a piece. Because if you think about it, if somebody runs in it with their car, it actually doesn't knock them over. It's pretty neat. Alright, that's looking good. So I'm going to get these cones placed down. And if you guys could drop a big thumbs up on today's video, it's going to be a ton of fun. And like I said, there's going to be so many cool cars. So drop a thumbs up and also comment down below what your favorite supercar is, okay? Personally, my favorite supercar has got to be the Lamborghini. Uh, let's see, the Aventador is nice, but I like the STO. If you've ever seen one of those, hopefully one of those pulls in tonight. Uh, there's tons of different Lamborghinis out there, but like I said, the STO is by far my favorite. So anyhow, yep, I'm going to finish up these cones and I'll see you guys in a few. Alrighty, we got the cones placed down. I think that's good. That'll just, you know, regulate traffic inward and outward. And looks like... Yep, that's got to be a guy pulling in here. Oh my gosh. A TRX. That thing's a beast. Hello, how's it going, sir? I'll take your car from you. Enjoy the party. Just a short walk down the road. Alrighty. Thank you, sir. Alright, well, this thing is huge. Look at this. This is a Ram TRX with a 6.2 liter supercharged engine. The V8. Oh my gosh. I think it's got the Hellcat engine. Well, this is cool. We're going to park this up, and then the keys will go in the guard shack. But this is a neat truck. We already got people flowing in, which is good. I think the party starts in about 10 minutes. So we're going to have uh, a lot of cars probably just get dropped off. We're probably going to have to, you know, park a couple at a time. But we're going to park the TRX right in the first spot. Let's see here. Let's readjust it. Perfect. Look at this thing. What a beast. Well, anyhow, all right, let me put them in the guard shack. Currently, our max height is 6 meters, or, you know, I think it's 18 feet. So, you can pretty much get a semi-truck in here, and here is another guy pulling in. Whoa, what is this? Hey, buddy, valet here. How are you? Uh, here to take your car. I'll park it for you, wash it up, you know. Party's across the street. Have a good one. Whoa, boys, look at this thing. This is a McLaren P1. Wow, that is a fancy-looking car. All right, uh, let's see. Yeah, th th I don't know, really know how to drive these. I think there's a button on the dash. Hold on here. Okay, how do I put it in drive? Uh, let's see. Oh, yep, you clicked a little D down there. All right, we're in drive, boys. Here we go, we're rolling. I right, hope the gate opens. Perfect. This one's a nice car. We're going to park this right out in the front. The front two parking spots for the VIP. Wow, this thing's so cool. All right, let's go ahead and put the spoiler up, too. You know, you got to show all the features off on this beast. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and kill the engine. Put the keys in the guard shack. Perfect. And obviously, we have tons more parking. Um, and we could park, I think, up to the max capacity is 160 vehicles, which is insane. Imagine how big a party that would be. And I think uh, we might actually have another contract here if the owner likes us. But here is a nice one pulling up right now. Oh, is this a Hellcat? Perfect. How's it going, valet, valet? How are you? I'm going to go ahead and park your car for you. Party is right across the street. Oh my gosh, look at this thing, boys. It's a Hellcat, supercharged, same engine as that TRX. So I think it's only fair to park it next to the TRX because they're the same engine. Both, you know, Ram and Dodge, they're both Chrysler vehicles. Ah, look at these beasts. All right, that's awesome for sure. All right, uh, now in the next car, let's see. Come on, please be a Lamborghini. I really want a Lamborghini so badly. It's like my dream vehicle. If we can, if we can drive one, I'll probably take it around the block. I'm not going to lie. We'll wait till the guy's at the party. We're going to take it for a spin. 
I got some great music on right now in my headphones. Oh, what? Our, our wish came true, a Lamborghini. How's it going, ma'am? How are you? This is a very nice car, if I don't have to say so. Uh, but yeah, anyhow, the party's across the street. I'll go ahead and wash your car for you. And uh, yeah, enjoy the night. There she goes. Oh my gosh. All right, let's wait till she uh, she walks away. Oh my gosh, she almost just got hit by a car. All right, well, I'm going to wait until she's kind of farther away, and then we're going to go take her Lamborghini for a spin. Wow, look at this thing. 360 rotation. This thing is a beast. All right, is she gone? I think I think she made it to the courthouse. Here we go. Ready? Slam it. Pedal to the metal, boys. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I just crashed your car. Oh, no. Oh, no. That is bad luck. Okay, maybe we shouldn't have taken this for a spin. All right, we'll have to uh, look at the damage when we get back, but hopefully there wasn't too much. I, I barely hit the guy. Oh, there we go. Okay, hold on. We're going to park it up front. Let's see. Is there any damage? Is there any damage? Oh, no. Uh Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. All right, well, this thing must be made out of carbon fiber because that was a strong, strong material to hold uh, that crash. Well, that's pretty cool. Whoa, look at that car. That's a Pagani Ayuda. What, man? This is sweet. Yo, what's going on? Yo, are you kidding me? Are you a farmer? Yeah, man. What's going on? Wait, I feel like your voice just got higher. What happened? Uh, you know, uh, uh, see you later. What? Oh, my gosh. What happened to his voice? I'm not going to ask, but, man, he's got a nice car. I'm not going to lie. This thing's a beast. Oh, here we go, boys. All right, let's pull it in. Uh, let's see. Let's put it over in the spot over here. Here we go. Let's not, you know, scrape the wheels on the curb. But it's nice having these extra spots that are super big. You can put semis in them, which is cool. You know, you don't really have, like, a, a limit. Uh, we, don't, we can put Ford Raptors, T-Rexes. Those are wide trucks. You can put them in the parking spots, no problem, which is super nice. All righty. Well, that was cool. Farmer Joe, I haven't seen that guy in years, man. But he's like the richest farmer in town. He's got like a 9RX, all those big tractors, the big cultivators, uh, the biggest combines money can buy. Pretty cool, I'm not going to lie. All right, so far we've got five cars in here. That means the party hasn't really started. So, anyhow, I'm going to pick up the camera once it gets a little bit busier. You know, when people start flowing in. I mean, the party starts in a minute, so they're going to start flooding this place up. So, anyhow, I'll see you guys once there's a ton of cars to park. Well, I told you guys it was going to get busy in here. And look, we got a Tesla here. This is a pretty cool, it's got a little card to get it to start, so we gotta, you know, keep that in our pocket. This is a Tesla uh, Model S. I don't know if it's a Plaid. I, I really don't know. I don't know much about... Oh, that was close. Yeah, that was a close call. I almost hit Farmer Joe's car. Um, Alright, we're gonna back this in. One thing is, no chargers in this building, so if, unfortunately the electric guys aren't gonna be able to get a fully charged vehicle. Uh, you know, oh, we got a Range Rover pulling in. It's definitely going here. Yep. Yeah, pull it in right here for now. I'll take your keys. Oh, the wheel's on the wrong side. Yeah, you can leave it running. Party's across the street, ma'am. Oh, buddy. Well, this is a Rolls Royce. Uh, this is a nice car. I think some, like, crazy uh, rich billionaire showed up. So, yeah, I think uh, his security is with him. And there was two big security guys and then the main billionaire. But yeah, this is his, his car, the Rolls Royce. Pretty cool. Um, and then what else do we got? All right, we got a Lamborghini Urus, two SUVs, and a Range Rover SVR, which is a nice car. All right, let's get in the Urus first. I think it's a Urus. They pronounce it the Lamborghini Urus. So, um, don't, don't quote me on it, but, I mean, this is a pretty cool car. About $230,000 is what it costs for, for an SUV. It's crazy. But I'm sure it's nice. It's got a nice engine in it, Lambo. Always goes above and beyond with their expectations. All right, then this Range Rover. This is a cool car. All right, let me go ahead and turn on the lights. Uh, the interior is cool, and it's got a nice engine, so I'm sure it does ride really good. All righty. It's got a cool color. Look at that. The blue. Nice. And then we got a Porsche here. All right. Hey, buddy, the party is starting now. You're going to be late if you don't go right now. You better run. You better run. Oh, my gosh. That guy was pretty cool. He, he looked like he was like a crazy tech guy. Tech genius. Oh, how do I turn this electric car on? Oh, I think... Is it on? Is it on? Uh, okay, battery's on. There we go. Oh, no, it's super fast. Oh, oh my gosh. Wow, that was crazy fast. The torque on this thing was insane. All right, got the Porsche parked up. I think uh, I think that's almost full. We had about 20 people on the guest list. I don't think everyone's going to valet. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 vehicles so far. So we're, we're getting there. Is this guy here? That's a big truck. What? Well, I guess 
I was calling for a semi. Oh, everybody, I'll park your car. Don't don't need to park it for yourself. Have a enjoy the party. Nice outfit, man. I think you should win best outfit award. There he goes. All right. Well, this is cool. We got a couple of cool electric vehicles: the Porsche, the Tesla, and now the Hummer. Now this is this is a nice car. I'm not gonna lie. All right, we're gonna back it in. Let's see. We can honestly just park it right in the front because that way when we pull it out, it's just first to go out. Nope, that guy's not coming in here. Um, all right, that is it. That is all the vehicles that we have for today's valet job. All right, let me give you guys a quick tour. I'm going to go run upstairs real quick and show you the top of the roof. It's a pretty cool view of the city. So, uh, yeah, this is crazy. Look at the view. You can see the entire city. My house is all the way over there. But yeah, this is awesome. There's the courthouse down there where the party's at. And, yeah, there's a whole bunch of parking up here. You can throw parties, events, cool stuff. Honestly, a really cool view because all you see is the mountains, the skies. It's really cool. Check out the 360 view. And also the top of the church. The bell tower goes super high. That is awesome. Here we go, boys. I got another job as a valet man at another insane mansion. Check this place out. The owner said we could take a look before he gets here. He's going to be arriving by chopper pretty shortly. Let me back my little valet vehicle in here. A little Mahindra Retriever. But yeah, anyways, uh, they're going to go pick up the billionaire soon. This is his ranch house. Kind of where he throws the massive parties at. And, uh, you know, it's pretty sweet. He's got a big workshop here. And the actual house where they're going to be partying is uh, pretty sweet too. Check it out. Oh my gosh. What a massive house. Let's turn the lights on. Wow, this is really cool. And then uh, they got closet there. I think there's a basement down there. Huge kitchen, outdoor area. Oh my gosh, look at the security guards. This guy must be pretty high tech. Must be a pretty big CEO, but uh, oh, this must be his kid's room. What? And it's themed blue. Uh, let's see here. And here's the bathroom. Okay, pretty cool. Let's check out downstairs. There's got to be a master bedroom or else he's weird if he's sleeping in a princess themed room. All right, here's the uh, another bathroom. Wow, they got five star ratings here. Holy biscuits, boys. That's crazy. Okay, what's behind this door? I'm... I'm new to all this, but this is a pretty sweet house. Drop a thumbs up if you guys would like to take this house for free. Oh my gosh, check out the shower. All right, this is pretty cool. It can't get any better than that. I think they got a... Oh, it's got a bathroom too. No way. And a laundry room. Okay, and then there's the workshop. So we've got uh 15 security guards around the property. You could count them out out here. There's just two. And uh, this gate system's pretty neat too. So what you do is you have an entrance and an exit. Hold on, let's go over here. Close the gate. So if you want to close off the entrance, you can do that. And you have the exit open in case they want to leave. So it's actually pretty sweet. The driveway is really bad. They couldn't get permits to build their entire driveway straight. So they've got a curb here. It might be a little tricky with the supercars, but we got ramps. But we should be expecting cars in the next five minutes. So we got to get going. And that chopper is going to take off to go pick them up. So, all right, boys. Well, drop thumbs up and uh, let's get going. I'm thinking I'm just going to park them on the side here. Quick, easy access, and then the, the front ones will go right up here. The Lamborghinis, the real nice ones, so. All right, anyways, here comes the first guest. Oh, it's a Tesla. Hey, whoa, check out a sweatshirt, Planet. Hey, is that Elon Musk? Uh, uh, I'm just kidding. Go ahead, have fun time at the party. All right, let's drive this Tesla. This is uh, this pretty sweet car. Fold-out mirrors, very nice. All right, we're going to park this one. We don't have chargers at this property like we did at our last mansion valet job, but uh, you know, it's fine. He's he's 95%, so. All right, looks good right there. Look, we got a guard watching over all the cars. How's it going, Timothy? Good to see you. Not even his name, I'm just guessing. All right, anyways, uh, I'm gonna close up the shop doors. Kinda just makes the place look bad. There we go. Look at that place, it looks so cool. Well, I'm gonna wait till the next guest pulls in. Hopefully it's a good one. I, uh, you know, a Tesla's a cool car, but I want some really cool Audis, Lambos, all that stuff. I'm waiting. Is that a BMW? Oh my gosh. Check this thing out. Looks like one of the M series, high performance. Oh yeah, M4, GTS version. Oh my gosh. How's it going, sir? What is this party attire? You came straight from the from work, man. Well, I mean the glasses, they they work, but yeah, enjoy the party. Uh thanks for coming. I'll park your nice BMW here. Check out the inside. Very nice. All right, we're going to categorize them, so we'll space them out a little bit in case we get another Tesla, another BMW. All right, right there looks good. And then I just leave the keys right in the wheel well. So whenever someone wants their car, you know, the keys are right to it. Uh, we got a whole gated property here, so we have uh, full surveillance of anyone coming in and out of the property. So 
Anyways, wait till the next guy comes in. You know the process. Oh, that looks fancy. Yeah, come on, bring it over the curb, over here. Yeah, they're all scared to scratch their car on that curb. I mean, I don't blame them, but check that thing out. Is that lifted? What? Why is it elevated so high? Hey, lower your suspension. Oh, it's got air ride. Oh my gosh. How's it going, ma'am? Okay, see you later, Miss Country Club. Oh my gosh. All right, boys, let's back this thing in. Pretty nice, uh, what is it, Rolls-Royce, uh, Mansory package, too? You can tell from the wheels. Very nice, very nice. All right. Wait for the next person to come in, and, uh, yeah. All right, boys, looks like the pilot is taking off right now to go pick up the guest, and, uh, yeah, we'll wait till they get back. Honestly, I should just start taking them from the front door, but, anyways. Yeah, yeah, it's just a curb. Why are you guys so scared? There you go. That's a nice Rolls-Royce. Well, look at that beast. All right, well, we got the second Rolls-Royce here, so I'm going to back it in next to the other one. Categorize. Always categorize. All right. Anyways, wait for the next car. What do we have so far? Four cars. We're getting there. We got about 14, so, uh, you know, a little bit more, but uh, I think they're going to start rolling in very soon. Oh, here we go. BMW motorcycle. Oh, look at this thing go. Wow. Watch out. Watch out. Oh, buddy. All right. Yep. Uh, thank you, sir. Enjoy the party. All right. Here we go. Oh, jeez. I stalled it. Okay, hold on. Put it back in first gear. Uh, okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, it's running now. Yeah! Oh my gosh. Alright, since it's a BMW, I can put it next to this BMW. No reverse on this, though. It's a little tricky. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it there. I don't wanna mess with it anymore, but, uh, we're gonna wait for the next car to pull in, and we're gonna valet the next one. Yeah, you know, it's so like, with the current inflation rate and all that... Oh my gosh, I turned my back for 10 seconds, and all these cars are lined up. Right, hold on, Tim. I'll talk to you in a minute. Everybody's arriving now. All right, let's park this Hellcat up. The red eye. Oh, my gosh. Nice and easy. All right, let's make sure this one locks five times because people like to steal these. So, you know, Karen actually stole one last week. We had to chase her down. It was crazy. Okay. All right, let's park this Bronco. Pretty sweet car. Do we have any Porsches here? I don't think so. We're going to back it in next to this Hellcat. Oh, geez. It's very fast. All right, looks good. We've got next Range Rover. All right, this is a really cool looking car. I think I'm going to put this one out front just because it's an SVR. I mean, you know, a Range Rover is a cool vehicle. Oh my gosh, a Lamborghini just pulled in. That's crazy. Hold on, check it out, boys. Lambo. Yeah, buddy, what's up? Yep, leave it in. Uh, leave the keys in it. I'll park it. Hey, I know you. What's your name? Uh, yeah, my name is uh, George. Uh, oh, George. Hey, I know you. Uh, I valeted at that last mansion party, remember? And then someone stole the car. I, I don't even know who did that. That was crazy. I don't even know who did that. Yeah, the cops said they had a lead. Uh, they actually said there might be someone here in town who took it, but uh, I've got myself a new car, so... Yeah. That oh, yeah, that looks like the same sweet. one. That's crazy, dude. That's so awesome. It's, like, identical to the one that, you know, I found. Like, or, I mean, that, like, I parked. Yeah, it was pretty cool. All right, anyways, enjoy the party, George. Yeah, you too. This one will be better, I promise. You know, no one will steal your Lambo, okay? Hopefully. Okay, see ya. Oh, buddy. Uh, that was a close one. Uh, if you didn't know, I kind of stole George's last Lamborghini, but he bought the same one. So, uh, yeah, that was, uh, gosh, that was close. Good thing he didn't uh, suspect anything. You know, I kind of took off with the Lambo. But uh, anyways, all right. Uh, we should have, like, one more car left or something. We're, uh, we're almost there. Got airbags. Hey, you're going to pop a tire if you keep doing that, buddy. Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. Oh, wow, that's a nice car. Very cool. Matches your outfit and everything. Enjoy the party. Very, very nice car. Oh, my gosh. This is sweet, boys. This is pretty cool. I mean, this has got customizations on it. Carbon fiber hood. When the uh, last person comes through, go ahead and close this gate. Open up the uh, exit gate. And don't let anyone through the exit gate. Got that? Watch out. Watch out for the deer. Here comes our last guest, I think. Right here, entrance, entrance, valet, valet. I'll take your car, sir. Very nice car. Oh my gosh. Looks like you just came off a camping trip. Wait, who's this guy? I think I recognize it. Wild Bill? Hey, you gosh dang right. That's me, Wild Bill. Yeah. Yeah, I'll have fun time at this party. See you later. Gosh. Okay, well, uh, uh, I don't know if I want to drive this car. That guy's kind of scary. Uh, I'll just park it and leave it. Wild Bill lives out in the dense forest and, um,. Yeah, he probably had to camp to get here, but probably took a three-day commute. Yeah, I don't know. We're going to back it in over here and uh, away from the other supercars. But I think that's it. I think all the party guests are here, and uh, 
The party's not on the main level. They said that it was in the basement, so there must be a pretty cool disco room. Something cool, but, uh, you know, the time has come to pick out our favorite car. And that happens to be this Porsche 911 here. This is a rare version, over a million and a half dollars. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take this one for, uh... A full-time joyride, so that means I'm going to completely steal the car. All right, and we're out of here. Yeah, boys, I'm just making sure the oil pressure's good. We got to be on our A game, and this property is in Mexico right now, so it's pretty cool. It's right on the border of, of Texas, so very cool. It's actually a gigantic YouTuber party, so... There's going to be a ton of like fancy YouTubers showing up and it should be pretty cool. The person that owns this property just decided to throw a party and he needed a valet company. But he told me that there is one kick to it. Make sure all the guests have clean cars before they leave. I don't know. He just wanted them to be happy when they got in their car. So yeah, we're going to put them under there. Keep them clean because in Mexico, there's a lot of dust flying around. So the cars get dirty very quick. Okay, guys, so let's go wait for the first vehicle to show up. Also, I got an upgrade on the valet golf cart. Check it out. Six seater, it's all orange. You got the upgraded rims, the bull bar. You know, the, the business is growing, so we're doing well. But yeah, I'm gonna wait for the first guest to show up. The party starts in 15 minutes. And yeah, I'll see you guys then. Oh, oh, what was that? Oh, there's cars here. I didn't even see them pull in. But oh, okay, we got some some guests rolling in now. But oh, wow, look at this car. Where, where did they go? All right, they just ran inside. But we've got a Lamborghini, I can tell from the front there. It's a Mansory Urus. Wow, that is a fancy car. Look at this thing. Got the wide body kit, the splitter guards everywhere, and all the fancy carbon fiber parts on it. And wow, that's sweet. I like the color too. It's pretty sharp. Alrighty, well, let's go ahead. Let's take this around the driveway. And then I actually we're gonna go take it on the main road real quick. This thing is sweet. I want to open this thing up. See if we can get hundred miles an hour. There we go. Oh, it backfires too. Did you hear that? Hold on. Let me go ahead and uh, let's try and accelerate a little bit so you can hear it. Oh my gosh, that's sweet. All right, here we go. Let's open it up. All right, here we go. Wide open. Oh, there we go. That's so cool. It backfires when you let off. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. All right, let's go ahead and turn it around, get it back to the property before we get in trouble. The interior is clean on this thing. It's bright yellow, so it definitely could get dirty. And, all right, we're going to take it to the back, get it cleaned up. This is actually pretty dirty. If you can tell from the exterior, it's not it's not very shiny. So, we're going to clean this thing up and make the guest happy. So, all right, let's take it to the backyard. Take it to the wash station here. Oh, oh, just backfired. You can't get used to that thing. Oh, wow, it's loud. All right, let's go ahead. We're going to clean the whole vehicle. First thing I do is I power wash it. Get all the dirt off, all the stuck-on dirt, all the sand. Get the rims all cleaned up. And then I walk over here all a, it's like a four in one power washer so i go ahead and switch the knob now we're on soap so we're gonna soap it all up there we go walk around the whole vehicle and let's go ahead and switch it again rinse perfect let's rinse off the soap and then it's gonna be shining it you can look at the front hood there see how it's shining the carbon fiber look at that perfect all right this one's good to go let's get it in the garage before it gets dirty oh my gosh it keeps backfiring all right here we go this is a one-of-kind vehicle i wonder what youtuber owns this thing all right, we got this thing parked. Let's go ahead and lock it up. Perfect. It is locked. And let's go grab that Range Rover that was there. Let's see. There might be more guests too. Oh, wow. There's a lot of cars that showed up here. Looks like there's another Lamborghini. And then there's a G-Wagon. Whoa, look at this thing. It's a 6x6. Six six. All right, that's sweet. All right, let's get this Range Rover pulled around the driveway. People are just leaving their vehicles here. They don't really, you know, need to stay by them. So they just drop them off. I pick it up. Let's go ahead and take it to the back. This thing is fast. This is the supercharged SVR version of the Range Rover, I think. Just the, the fast one. I don't know. It's very loud, too. Let's go ahead. Soap it up. There we go. I'm probably going to do a little bit of a quicker job, though. That Lamborghini I spent too much time on because we need to be able to park the guest cars on time. And there we go. All right. This one's good. Let's go ahead and take it down to the garage. Yeah. All right. That bump needs to get fixed. But let's back this one in a little bit spaced out from the Lamborghini because we're going to categorize everything. So let's put that other Lambo next to the other Lambo. And, you know, if there's another Range Rover, we'll throw that next to that one. That way, you know, they're just, they're in the spot. We know where they're at when the guests ask for the car back. So yeah. All right. We're going to grab the Lambo next. This thing's sweet too. It's the SVJ Coupe. So it's like all open and it's not even a convertible. It's like completely open. You can't put a top on it. 
It's it's only a daily driver when the sun's out. You cannot drive this thing in the rain or any snow or anything like that. So we're going to clean this one up, get the rims all shined up. There we go. This one's good to go in the garage. Send it. Oh, whoa. We just... Oh, that's not good. All right. I think it's probably fine. We just did a little bit of damage, but I don't think it's noticeable. All right. Lambo number two is good. Let's grab that G-Wagon and get it cleaned up. Okay, all of a sudden, I just hear a lot of cars. There must have been a ton of people that rolled up, and I am right. Oh, my goodness. Look at how many vehicles there are. One, two, three, four, five, six new vehicles. Oh, my gosh. These people left their turn indicator on and got out of the car. This must be one good party, even this dude. But we got some new cars that rolled up. Let's go grab that first one. Looks like a Rolls-Royce Wraith. This is a V12 6.6 liter engine. I know this car very well. It's a very nice vehicle. Let's go ahead and take this one to the back, get it cleaned up. There we go. But other than that, there was a Ford Raptor, which is a cool vehicle, too. That one rolled up. There was a Aston Martin Vantage. Uh, what else is there? There was like a pink and blue Lamborghini. Uh, drop them down in the comments whose car you think that is. What YouTuber do you think would be driving a blue and pink Lamborghini? I know my answer. What do you guys think? But all right, Rolls Royce is good to go. Let's park this one in the garage. Here we go. Let's send it. Oh, yep, yep. Suspension's good on this. There's not a ton of cars rolling up. I think that's honestly it. He said there was only about 10 guests coming up. And, you know, obviously all the cars are packed. So there's probably 30 guests total. There we go. We got four cars down there. We got a lot more to go. So let's go grab that next vehicle, which I think is the Lamborghini. Oh, it's an STO version too. That's a sweet looking car. All right, here we go. Let's go take it around the circle driveway. This thing's quick. Oh, there we go. All right, we're pretty good at steering as well. Let's go ahead. Drop it off at the wash station. Do a quick pit stop. There we go. Clean it up. Shine it up. Soap. Good. Tire shine. Good. Full U-turn. Take it in the driveway. All right. Let's take this one easy. I like this YouTuber. Here we go. Spin it around. And then the Lamborghini area is over there. So let's go ahead. Try and squeeze through. Oh, don't hit the wall. All right. Oh, we just scraped the Range Rover. All right. Perfect. We got five cars. Let's go grab that other one. Oh, it's a Ferrari. It's a Stradale SF90 Spider. Now, this is a unique vehicle. They're like a couple mil, million, that is, because uh, they're hard to get. So that's pretty cool that a YouTuber got one of these. Could be a car vlogger or something. I don't know. Let's clean this one up. It's got a, a wrap on it. It looks like a matte red. It's not metallic, so you can see it's kind of clean already, which is nice. Keeps the dirt off. There we go. Take this one underneath. Oh, this is so funny. The bump, we keep hitting it. Hey, I'm just a valet man here. Any damage caused is the owner's expense. Alrighty, we got a AMG GT. Let's go to fire the engine up. Oh, it's actually, uh, it's electric. Wait, what? It's a hybrid. There's no engine sounds right now. Okay, it must be on the hybrid mode. Let's check. Oh, yep. You can see on the, the blue indicates that it's a uh, hybrid mode. Okay, well, that's, that's pretty cool. Personally, I like my gas V8 powered naturally aspirated vehicles, but you know, that's just me. All right, this one's good to go. Let's take it underneath into the garage. Oh, there we go. All right, perfect. Also, I added a complimentary air freshener to every vehicle, so it's going to smell great. Whenever the YouTuber gets back in their vehicle, I think maybe we'll get some more valet jobs because they keep throwing parties like this. All right, let's keep this G-Wagon taken care of. This thing's been sitting here for a while, so let's go take this to the back. Looks like the party's getting going inside, too. I can hear the music. There's a pool party. There's a juice box, like little uh, juice box bar. I don't know. It's pretty cool. All right. Let's go ahead and pull this one around. Get it underneath the garage. It's pretty cool how it's underground parking, too. It's, it's just nice. I'm sure it's definitely secure. They can't really break in unless they break the door down. All righty. Well, we got two more vehicles left at Ford Raptor, which I want to check out. And then we got an Aston Martin Vantage. So only two more to go. And then I think our job is uh, on pause for the next couple hours. All right, let's turn this guy's indicator off. There we go. But look at the interior of this thing. They totally redesigned it. Got the shifter that folds down. Oh, oh, that's 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 ironic. The, the rock crawling beast all of a sudden appeared on the rocks. Look at this thing. It just keeps going. All right. Well, it's not our vehicle, so let's not break anything on it. But it's got the full, like, gigantic TV display. I think it's like, I don't know how big that is. Maybe 20-inch screen or something. It's all touchscreen digital display there we go this one's good to go and it's pretty sweet and then uh, all the speedometers and everything's all digital so definitely a big upgrade for the ford raptor and i love the front end look at i turned on the hazards for you 
check out the emblem and then also the indicators those are sweet and then you turn it off goes back to your normal daytime running lights that's sweet all right let's turn that off let's go grab the aston martin and we're done for the next couple hours Well, guys, we're back in the mobile cone, also known as our valet service vehicle. And today, we're going to be valeting cars at this new mansion with an insane car lift. Check it out. It's a nine-slot car lift. You can raise and lower it. It's got an elevator. Let me give you guys a quick look at it. So as you can see, the outer one drops down, and then we only have two layers of cars. And then you can bring it back up. Well, now it's going down in the ground. So you can hide all the cars underneath, which is really cool. And this millionaire built this thing all by himself. So, yeah, it's pretty sweet. We can raise all the way back up. You can see on the diagnostic screen, it's bringing it back up. Shows you where it's at. And then we'll bring it back up to the third level. So, how it's going to go is all the cars are going to pull in. we got a big party going on tonight. They've already got the juice box bar all set up. And then, yeah, what the, what the job is, is we're going to pull in the cars to the lift. And then we'll drop it down and just keep it clean. So, that there's no traffic jams going on at the party tonight. And then when they leave... They just drive back out the lift and it's perfect. So yeah, we're going to wait for the first car to show up. There's a lot of nice cars coming tonight. So make sure you stick around. And also, if you like these valet videos, remember to smash the like button down below because it shows us you want us to continue. So the guy that owns this mansion, some big tech guru, uh, he said we could check out the mansion too. If you guys want to tour that, we can go inside once we get the job done here. Oh, we got already our first car pulling up. I mean, it is 630 sharp. So here we go. That's a nice looking Mustang. Look at that thing. Hey, sir, welcome. Uh, you can go ahead and drop it right here, and then I'll put it on the lift for you. And uh, enjoy the evening. All right, so we got this Mustang. This is an RTR a Spec 5 Mustang, I'm pretty sure. It's pretty wide, too. It's got a wide body kit. So we're going to have some problems if we've got any wider vehicles than this. Look at that. It just clears the mirrors. Look at that. That's like an inch on each side. Okay, so we're going to put it in the middle lift for now. We, of course, got to turn it off because it's going underground, and then we can drop it down. See you later, Mustang. Oh, that's so cool. And then it stays clean down there and everything. So now we have eight slots left at the car elevator. Oh, this guy's definitely pulling in here. Look at that car, man. Jeez, is that a green? Yeah, that's a 4 GT. Look at that thing. Hey, welcome to the party. I'll take your car from you. Enjoy the party. Wow, look at this thing, guys. It's got the spacers on it. The wheels are also angled for track mode. Already watch this. I'm going to fold the wheels up. It raises up the suspension. Folds the wheels back in, puts the spoiler down. That's sweet. And we're going to need the space too. So actually, we're going to put this one on the far left because this is a high-end hypercar. Oh, no. I just ran over a cone. Oh, my gosh. All right. This is a little difficult to drive here. It is a manual. So here we go. Shift it to first and then drop it to second. Okay. Back to first. There we go. We don't want to break his transmission. Okay. That looks good. I think we're lined up. About another inch. Perfect. All right. Turn it off and then let's drop down elevator one. There it goes, the Ford GT. Oh, you saw the Mustang down there. That's so cool. Okay, so now we got four spots left here and then three on the outer. That's cool. Well, it's actually, uh, we can move our golf cart around back too. I got some snacks in it too, so we're going to get hungry. We've got a lot of cars pulling up. And I don't think all of them are going to be able to fit inside the car elevator. We're going to have to park some outside. Oh, here we go. We already got another car. Yeah, they're rolling in. It's 630. Oh my gosh, he just smoked both my cones. Hey, buddy, watch it. He must have just came from another party. I'll take your car. You're good there. Oh, oh. Enjoy the party. Oh, my goodness. This guy's crazy. He can't even walk straight. Look at him. He's falling all over the place. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Uh, let's park his car. This is a nice car, though. I do have to say a Ferrari. La Ferrari. These are about $4 million. This one's like a 2016, so it's a little bit older, but uh, it's a nice looking car. He didn't crash it, so I give the big guy credit, but let's pull his car on the lift, and then it's, it's pretty wide, but it's actually perfect fit for this lift. There we go. Right there is good, and then we're going to close up. There we go. Close up the lift. Looks good. So now all the cars are in the ground. We are actually able to get one car on top, but there's two cars in the ground. We got one car in the ground here, and then we have no cars in the ground. So we got A, B, and C. Oh, there's another car. Where's that guy going? Oh, wait, maybe he's not coming to the party, but... Oh, he missed his turn. He's got to turn around. Look at that thing. That's an old classic car. Wow. Is that a Cobra? I think it might be a Cobra. Hey, sir. Welcome in. Uh, you can call, pull forward to these cones the best you can. Welcome to the party. Uh, enjoy. There's free juice boxes at the uh, the bar over there. Free juice box. Yeah, have enjoy the party. Yep, yep. All right. We probably shouldn't interact much with the guests, but we're going to put this one on lift number B here. Uh, this is a nice car. I do have to say, let's pull it on the lift. This is a classic one, so this one's got to go underground. Keep it protected here. Let's go over to our touch display here and drop it down. There we go. 
So now these two are full. There's four cars under the ground. And I think we have a couple more showing up. And then actually, I want to test it out. I wonder if our golf cart will fit. I'm pretty sure it will. But let's back it on and see if it makes a difference. Uh, I think we only have two more cars on the roster. So they all should be good. But here we go. Let's back it in. Oh, look at that golf cart. Drop it in the ground. Look at that. That's so cool. Now we can keep our golf cart protected from getting stolen. Oh, what's that? I hear a very loud car. What is going on? Oh, we got another crazy driver. All right, he's pulling in. Ooh, that's a blue, bright blue car. I love that thing. Hey, watch the cone. Oh, my gosh. He just threw the cone inside of the juice box area. What? Hey, sir, watch where you're driving, man. Please pull in. Oh, my gosh. All right, all right, I'll take your keys. Yep, enjoy the party. Jeez. All right, this car is going to go on lift C. Uh, let's do the best we can to load it on. It is actually a very wide car. This is the Ferrari SF90 Stradale. Oh, no. Oh, is it touching? Oh, yep. I got some blue crayon in my golf cart. I'll have to fix it up. All right, anyhow, let's drop this one in the ground. Here you go. There we go. Okay, I think we have one more car showing up, uh, but we have no spaces left in the ground. So actually, what we can do, we don't have to leave them in the ground. Let's bring them all up, and then we can see all the cars showcased. So here we go. Go up one more level. It looks really cool with all the cars. Oh, no, I just put this one back in the ground. Here's what the garage looks like all opened up besides the level B. I got it stuck, and now the lift will not go up. So, uh, yeah, we got a little problem going on. Oh, my gosh. That Bugatti just flew by. Oh, he missed his turn also. He's probably coming in here, but our cones are a complete mess. I feel bad for the guy, but the lift is stuck. Uh, look, lift B. The, the computer screens are completely turned off. This one still works, so maybe we can put this one uh, up top. Alrighty, here is the Bugatti guy. He's pulling in. This is the nicest car here, I think. This and the LaFerrari. Hey, I'll take your keys, sir. Enjoy the party. All right, we're going to wait for him to go in. We're going to take this thing for a little test drive here. There we go. Pull out the gate. Oh, I just hit a cone. Eh, he won't mind. He owns a Bugatti. Oh, hit another cone. All right, I'll take it for a little drive. There we go. Traffic's clear. Oh, my gosh. Speed limit 70. I'm doing 150 off-road. There we go. This thing's flying. Oh, my gosh. We're at least doing 160. 170, 180. There we go. Break, break, break. Jeez, this thing is fast. This is a nice car. And also, today, we are going to be stealing one of the cars in this video. So at the end, we're going to pick which one to steal. Uh, I don't know what it's going to be. Either this one or maybe the Ferrari. But I think we have a couple more cars showing up. Oh, just missed the entrance. There we go. And then we're back. So we can park this one right around back. All right, looks good. And we're going to wait for the last car to pull in. But let's see if this lift goes down in the garage. Oh. All right, it went down good. So now we'll put the last car on here, and we'll be good for the valet job today. And we'll pick which car we're going to take. That's why we brought the golf cart, because uh, this thing's worth like 20 Gs, so we're just going to leave it here. Speaking of the last guy, I think this is him in the Lambo. Hey, watch it, Karen. Oh, it's a lady. Okay, ma'am, please stop the car. Ma'am, stop the car, please. Oh, my gosh, of course it's going to be the wrecking ball of the video. Get out of the car, please. Yeah, enjoy the party, yeah. Uh, or you're going to get kicked out in 20 minutes, probably. Jeez, she just wrecked all my cones. I paid valuable money for those. Hey, what? She just took the Bugatti. Oh, my gosh. So she dropped off her $300,000 car to steal the $5 million one. Oh, I left the keys in it. Oh, my gosh. She just stole the most expensive car here. You got to be kidding me. Well, I guess uh, we'll have to let the owner know, but that just took the most expensive car. That was the car I was going to steal, but maybe... Uh, she had a better plan, probably. She didn't have to do any work for that either. She just drove up and stole it. So, all right. I guess we'll put this one up. Where's the LaFerrari? There it is. Maybe if I would have kept it locked on the ground, it wouldn't have got stolen. But because the lift was broken, I couldn't really do much. But here we go. We're going to take this for a little drive and not come back. So, let's pull a U-turn. We're going to go try and chase that Bugatti person. If we can, we stole both the Bugatti and the Ferrari. Uh, also, the guy that did the valet for the mansion, he doesn't know my real name. So he's not going to know who stole his cars, but we're going to go find that Bugatti. Oh, there's the Bugatti. I found it already. Oh, my gosh. Now we're off-roading in the Ferrari. All right, let's going to chase this Bugatti. We're going to try and steal it back. Jeez, that thing is quick, but I'm keeping up. This Ferrari is uh, pretty close in speed to that Bugatti, so I don't think we're going to lose them. Where are they going? They're just driving over all this grass in the middle of nowhere. But anyhow, here's what the Ferrari looks like. Pretty cool car. Oh, I'm catching up. Here we go. We're going to do a pit maneuver. Take them out. Here we go. Oh, pit maneuvered. All right, they just spun out in the field. Uh, let's try and spin around and catch them. Here we go, going in for the pit. Oh, there we go. We took them out. It spun out. All right, block them in, block them in. Hey, get out of here, lady. Think you can steal these cars? Better luck next time. All right, there we go. We got the car back. That was actually a lot easier than I thought, but we're actually right next to the house, too. 
So let's take the Bugatti and we're going to put it in the lift so that it doesn't get stolen. We're not done with our job yet. So let's back in the Bugatti and lift A. Oh, this thing's quick. That way, if she tries to come back and steal it, she can't. So now she can steal an old Cobra or her Lamborghini she dropped off. Uh, okay, let's go see if we get this Ferrari back. There we go. Now we can decide what we want to steal. So we're actually going to go inside, do a quick tour, pretend like the job's over. We parked all the cars and everything, and then we're heading out of here. So let's go check out the house. I think they're partying upstairs, so we'll just go downstairs. There we go. Here's the check for the valet service, and we're good. Now, what I'm going to do is take my Bugatti, deploy it, and I just stole a $5 million Bugatti. So here we go, boys. We're out of here in our new Bugatti. We just stole. Oh, no, don't spin out. Here's the property. Look at this place. One of his 12 mansions. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's pull into the circle driveway. We've got some cones in the back so we can set up and direct where people can go. All righty, perfect. Let's unload our cones. These things are actually almost taller than us. I say the best thing that we do is we're going to put the cones right here to indicate where the people can drop off their car. We'll pick it up. We'll wash it up over here, and we're actually going to park them inside. Keep them nice and clean. We've got a giant garage and a workshop, so it's pretty cool. The owner of this house, his name is Eric. So he bought this back in the 1900s, fixed it up, and converted it from a giant warehouse or like a shed into a half house, half warehouse shop. So it's pretty cool. It's, we can actually walk around. He said we can check out the property. He's actually got a room for his son, for his daughter, and we've got a little bathroom right there. So pretty cool. The kitchen, a little overkill for just having parties, but it's it's nice. It gets the job done. You can cook, you know, five course meal. And we've got another bathroom. There's like three total bathrooms in this house. We've already been over here. If you guys have seen in previous videos, we've been to this house before. Washer dryer, and then you can lead into the shop. So it's pretty cool. We're going to open up the doors, get the power washer all set up. We should probably park our car indoors too, get it out of the way. We're going to park it right over here in the corner. That should be good. Perfect. Alrighty, now we just wait. They should be arriving in 15 minutes. So we're going to wait for the first truck to arrive. And yeah, that's about it. Well, looks like the first guest has arrived. Look at that truck. Oh my gosh, it isn't lifted. Hey, wash it up for me, won't you? Oh, yep, I'll get it clean, sir. Have a good time at the party. All right, he's going inside. He's got the truck running. Oh my goodness, look at this beast. Six by six. I have seen these before. But this one looks good. I like the colors on it. You got the nice red lift package. That's sweet. I love the color package on it as well. You got the front end overkill badge. Wow. All right, let's move it over to the garage. We're going to get it cleaned up here. We've got the all-wheel steer package. Let's go ahead, back it in next to the power washer. We're not going to soap the truck at all. We're just going to power wash the sides, get all the dirt off. We, we don't need to full wash these bad boys. We're just going to keep them clean. All right. This one's all good. It looks shiny. Also, we got the red interior package on this truck. Look at it. It's insane. I've never seen a truck with the best color package. The red, white, and yeah, you got blue. So, I mean, it's kind of cool. It's got the nice American theme of it. All right. We're going to back this one. This is the biggest truck I'm going to guess we're going to have tonight. So, all right. We're going to do our best to, to fit this in the garage. It should fit. We're going to have to do some uh, some angling of the vehicles here to get them in. Well, look at that park job. Okay, that's great. All right, this one fits. And then the rest of the trucks we can just put back here. There should be enough room. All right, we can close this door up. It is full. Now we wait for the next guest. Oh, this guy's definitely coming here. Look at that truck. Oh, buddy. Hey, not the lawn, man. No way. They just left their truck running in the front yard. Okay. Uh, I guess that's one way to do it. He did say his buddies are uh, rednecks, so yeah. Okay, they just parked the truck here. We're going to go ahead and get this one cleaned up. This one's pretty sweet. It's a nice red GMC AT4 HD with a Duramax diesel engine. So, yeah, that's a lot to say, but it's, it's looking good. I like it. It's got the American Force rims. All right, this one's almost good. Perfect. All right, we can go ahead and throw it in the shop. Also, it's got a pair of dual Buell train horns. Let's go ahead and honk them to see what they sound like. Oh, yeah, that's some train horns. All right, this one we can park over on the left side of the shop. It should fit over here. Yep, looks good. A little bit more. Look at that. Perfect. That's just enough room. We can park another truck right here. And then, you know, maybe another right here. So we got plenty of space still. All right. We've got the third guest here that has arrived. They're actually the first one to park this thing correctly. All right. This is a nice looking truck. This is a Chevy 
3500 Z71. Wow. I like the color and the wrap on it. It looks sweet. Oh, it just took the cone out. Don't tell anyone. I don't think we should spray too close since it's got a wrap package on it. I don't want to damage the wrap at all, so we'll just lightly brush over with some water, get the dirt off of it, and now we're good to go park this thing in the shop. But let's go ahead and take this for a little test drive. Uh, we're not going to tell anyone, but this is just a sweet truck. Interior looking nice. Got the touch screen. That might be a 10-inch display, so that's pretty sweet. You've got an engine monitor for your diesel. That's awesome. I think he's got like a turbo kit on here or something special. It's definitely wide inside the lanes. You got to be a good driver to drive this bad boy. If you guys are enjoying today's video so far, remember, hit the like button down below. Also, subscribe if you haven't yet. We're on the road to 200,000 subscribers before the end of this year. Oh, this one's got train horns too. They all got train horns. It's like, you know, whenever there's someone that cuts them off. Lay on the train horn, man. All right, this one's still good, nice and clean. So we're going to park this into the shop. And I think we should be expecting like one or two more guests to show up. Uh, and then we're going to be done with our job today. The rest of them, they're actually spending the night here. It's an all-night party, and they're just that's why I'm parking the trucks inside. So they can deal with it in the morning. We got the fold-in mirrors on this. We could, I don't know, it's going to be tight. We could fit two more trucks, but we might have to move that, that Chevy Ford a few more inches. Uh, yeah. All right, I'll see you guys when the next guest shows up. Oh, yep, yep, orange cone, sir. Not, no, not the front lawn. Oh my gosh, she's coming right at us. All right, I guess that works. Yep, yep, I'll take your keys. All right, have a good time at the party, sir. Yep. All right, there we go. He didn't want to be filmed on camera, so. All right, let's go ahead and open up the door. It's locked here. I think he wanted to park it himself. Uh, all right, unlock button. There we go. Oh yeah, look at this thing. F450 Platinum. All right, don't mind if I do. All right, close the door here, fire it up. Oh, yeah, this thing sounds really good, too. It's got, like, a turbo on it. Turbo diesel. I think he added another one on. Got the special exhaust pipe on the back. Upgraded. What are those rims? American Forces again? Oh, they all like American Forces. All right, perfect. Clean this bad boy up. It's got a wrap on it, too, so we're going to be careful with the water. I like the red headlights. Those look sweet. Look at that. Head on. We can actually open up the hood. Oh, twin turbo diesel. That's nice. Okay, we'll close it up. That's awesome. Okay, what do we got in the back side here? We got a tailgate, and then I think there's actually a bed cover on here. No bed cover, but what we do have is one of these uh, fold-out steps. Click that button, it comes out, and then you got to expand the pole for your handle. Check that out. Oh, that's awesome. Then you can hop up into the tail. No problem. All right, that's awesome. Okay, we can park this one in the garage, but it's going to be a tight fit. This is a dually F450, so we're going to back it in. To the corner over there and it should fit so all right let's use my backup camera here we got the overhead view too all right perfect straight back back it in all right start cranking it i think this should work pretty good there we go okay now we're gonna have a lot of readjusting to get this thing straight in the building and there you have it all right we got this one in the building and yeah i think we can't fit any more trucks in here so that's not good we do have extra space over here though we can move my orange work truck back move the six by six back and i think we have one more guest coming so yeah we're gonna do some rearranging and then when the last guest shows up we'll let you guys know and we'll be done here for today we'll get paid out a thousand dollars which is a lot of easy money so all right see you guys when we're uh, closing up oh yeah this guy's speeding like 60 down here this is definitely the last guy oh it's a g-wagon six by six look at that thing here he is yep pull it in here sir perfect keep coming oh yeah look at this thing a green olive color I actually like it. It's a pretty cool color with the carbon fiber accents. Got the nice Brabus uh, tires and rims. Oh, yeah, boys. This is sweet. All right. This one's going to go right up front in the garage. We got our work truck pulled out, so there's plenty of room now. And look at that. We are done for today's valet shift. Just grabbed a 4 for 4 at Wendy's because we've got a long night ahead of us. We're back as a valet man. We're going to be parking supercars for millionaires at a big fundraising event right down the road here. So in the four for four, I got a cheeseburger, chicken nuggets, a fries, and then a drink. So it's a really good deal. And it's four for four. So saving money, of course. But yeah, right in the distance, that's where we're parking cars in that seven level parking garage. That is right. They just built it last week, which is probably why... It looks unfamiliar. So we're super excited. They're paying us $5,000 to park, I think, 10 cars tonight. So it's a lot of money. Here we go. Let's pull in. We were here earlier this morning getting the cones set up for everybody. And yeah, 
I think it all looks good. Look, we got the electronic gate opens up. We've got the first level here and obviously it just keeps going up. But as of tonight, I think we're just going to utilize the bottom space. That's all we're going to need across the way is the fundraising building. Security is already there. You can see them across the street. We've got cones set up, so they're going to drive in. All the millionaires, they're going to you know, go around the U-turn here. And then we're going to open their door. The party starts. And then we'll take their car and park it. That's the plan. We've got Bob, Larry, and Steve over there. They're security. A1 security. So we're super excited for today's event. And yeah, we're going to wait for the first cars to roll up. I'm going to go eat my chicken nuggets and burger. And then we'll get to work. All right, I'm just going to eat out of the truck for now. And, you know... Finish this up, and then the first car should be arriving pretty shortly. Uh, I think we're about 35 minutes away. So, yeah, we're just going to wait till they show up, and we'll be yeah, good to go to get to work for $5,000. So, super excited. Those chicken nuggets were good. Oh, looks like the first car showed up. All right, let's go. Uh, we're going to go help them out here and take the car off their hands. Yep, go ahead, pull forward here. They're going to open your door for you. We got the first guest for the fundraising event. Right there is perfect. All right, here we go. Get your door for you. All righty. Thank you, sir. We'll take care of your car. It's a very nice GT3 RS. Look at this beast. All right, he's going into the fundraiser. I think he's one of the chairmen, so he's got to get here earlier, which is uh, which is cool. But all right, Larry, I'm going to take this one back over to the garage and uh, let me know. Radio in if there's anyone else. Here we go. Oh, my gosh. This guy's seat is low. All right, we got to bring it up here. I can barely see over the dash. Oh, my gosh. Okay, we'll be all right. Just going across the street here. This is a great car. I actually like it. Two-door GT3. I'm not sure if it's an RS. I think you would say that. Um, so it's not an RS, but it is a cool Porsche. Got the nice brake calibers on it. It's looking good. Let's go ahead and not scrape the rims on the curb. That's our goal for tonight is not to cause any damage to these cars. Uh, this is about $250,000. So keep it in that condition and we'll keep everyone happy. So all right, we're going to wait for the next car. You guys know the routine. And yeah, if you guys are excited for the rest of this video, and this video, we're actually going to be giving the cars back. So when it gets laid out at night, everyone's going to be waiting for the car. So it's going to be a complete mess, but it'll be fun. So make sure you stick around and hit the like button down below so we can continue making valet videos. I really love what they did with the place. Check out, they got a lion in the pond. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Oh, we got another car here. Whoa, look at this one. That's a nice looking supercar. Ferrari, La Ferrari. Wow, that is nice. It's got the mid engine in the back. Look at that thing. Carbon fiber. Very cool. Hey, sir. How are you? Yeah, welcome to the fundraising event. Uh, what are you uh, here for? Oh, thank you. Hello there. Yeah, I'm here. I'm the vice president of the fundraising event tonight. So, looking forward to a good night. Oh, yep, yep. Uh, have a good one, sir. I'll take care of your car. Yeah, thank you, mate. There he goes. He's going inside. That's the vice president. So, so far, the president of the fundraiser has showed up. The vice president is here. Quite the nice car, I do have to say. Look at this beast. Oh, my gosh. Looking good. Larry, what do you think, man? This is awesome. All right, let's go park this bad boy up. Maybe take it for a little rip. Oh, also, for those that are still watching right now, if you didn't know, we're going to be stealing one of these vehicles at the end. Uh, Larry didn't hear us there, but... Yeah, we're going to be taking one of these vehicles. Uh, we're going to steal it. So we're kind of like a corrupt valet service. We're stealing a car that we liked that we want to keep, you know, and that's how we make our money. So far, I don't know if anyone's going to be able to top this. This is about a $4 million supercar. It's a 2013. So I don't know. This is pretty rare and it's going to be easy to take the parts off of it. I don't know. I'll have to stick around and see. He's coming in hot. Oh my gosh. Look at that Audi. Hey, watch the bushes. Oh my gosh. He hit the plant. Hey, take it easy. No, don't knock over my cone. Oh, my gosh. This guy just knocked over my cone. You're going to pay for that. All right, all right. Stop the car, man. I don't think you should drive this anymore. Here you go. All right. Have fun at the fundraiser. Jeez, that guy's probably the motivational speaker, but I, I don't know. The way he drives, it's pretty crazy. Hey, nice car. Do you have to say? Audi R8. Very cool. It's got the V10 option in it. Very nice. I don't know. This one's a little bit cheaper than that LaFerrari, so I think that's still at the top of our list for... Taken at the end of today. Park it right there. Perfect. We got three cars. So I think we should have a couple more uh, for the fundraising event. It's all millionaires. And then there's one billionaire that's going to be showing up. So yeah, we'll have to wait for them. But let's fix the plant. This guy knocked it over. You got to be kidding me. Hey, you boys just going to stand there? Or you're not going to do anything about these guys knocking over the plants? Come on. All right. We got another car showing up. It looks like it's a mobile cone also. Look at that thing. Bright orange. Wow. Nice looking SUV. I do have to say it's our first SUV of the night. 
Ooh, it backfired too. Hey, rev it up, man. Rev this thing up. Keep revving it. Oh, yeah, man. That's awesome. We'll park your car up for you. Have a good night. Nice looking coat he's got on there too. I think that's a $5,000 fancy designer coat, but his car is cool. I like this SUV. It's got 24,000 miles on it. That's pretty steep for what we're looking for for stealing tonight. So I don't know about this one, but it's a nice car. Here we go. Look at this thing. It backfires and everything. Wow. He's got this. This is a Mansory uh, package on this. So very high end. You can see it's got the carbon fiber. The front is just very aggressive. I mean, look at this. Upgraded everything. So cool. All right. We'll see you guys when the next person pulls in. I think we're almost done here, though. And then we can pick out our car to take and... And then we'll line up the rest of them out front and leave. So that's our plan. Oh, this is definitely a soccer mom. She's driving a Range Rover. Oh, it's a guy. My bad. Yep. Let's go ahead and pull up here, sir. We'll take care of your car. It's a nice car, though. I thought it was, uh, was going to be a lady, but I guess it's another guy. All right. Yep. Perfect. Oh, it's on the other side. I didn't see that. All right. Have a good time at the event. You got the red interior. Kind of nice, but I don't know why the steering wheel is on the right side. I think he's got to get that converted over. Well, this feels so weird. Oh my gosh, I've never drove a car on this side. All right, here we go. Let's pull in. It's just an average Range Rover, though. Not really any competition to our uh, good old Ferrari over there. So this one, out of the books for now. Oh, that's a loud vehicle. What is that thing, man? Hey, watch the cones. Oh my gosh. People are crazy. All right, lady, stop it. Stop it right there. I don't think you should be driving this thing. Oh my goodness. It's the uh, Hellcat Supercharged TRX. All right, have fun at the fundraising event. Jeez. All right, well, uh, I mean, it's eh, they knocked over some cones, but hey, we'll take it easy. Uh, maybe take this one for a little spin, actually. If they're going to drive it like that, I can deserve to take this thing for a ride. Here we go. Launch it. Oh, my gosh, this thing's so loud. That's awesome. Oh, I rolled it. Ah, we're good. Absolute indestructible beast. All right, it, even though it's cool, it's not worth a lot of value, so we're not going to be stealing this one, but it's a good getaway vehicle for sure. Sounds like the supercharger it wants to give up on this thing. Oh, my goodness. All right, here we go. Let's pull it in. Kind of a tight squeeze with these cones. All right, we made it through. Perfect. All right, looks good. Let's see. We got another car pulling up already. Wow. This one sounds very nice. Oh, look at it. It's a 4 GT. That thing looks sweet. Yep, yeah, pull it in, sir. We'll take care of you. Easy on the cones. Keep going, keep going. Perfect. Crank it. Looks good. Right there is good, sir. We'll take care of you. That's an awesome looking color. It's like a, it's a silverish color with a shiny, I don't know. Hey, sir, how are you? Yeah, I like the car. Very nice. Hey, thanks, man. Yeah, no problem, man. Have a good time at the party. This thing is sweet. I always love Ford GTs. Look at this. This is an awesome vehicle. And they're very rare, too. It's kind of hard to get one of these, so... I guess uh, maybe... Oh, no. Okay, we're good. We just drove over the bush. Nothing I can't take care of. But all right, we're going to take this one for a little rip now that he's inside. Whoa, this thing launches. Look at it go. Spoiler pops up at 100 miles an hour. That's awesome. All right, let's crank it around. This is like a million-dollar car, too. This is nice, but that LaFerrari's value is insane. I wish we could just have a car trailer where we can take them all home. That would be nice. Just have a semi-truck with a you know a nice car trailer. That would be nice, but we don't. We don't have the capital for that, so unfortunately, we only get to pick one to take home. So, But wow, look at this. thing looks great under the light. Nice and shiny. Awesome. All right, we should have one more car left. We're currently at seven cars. So yeah, we only have about one or two cars left, and we're done for the day at the valet job. We can pick our car. So far, it's the Ferrari. So we'll see you guys for the final car. Oh, here's the final guy. This might be the billionaire. That's a Bugatti. Billionaires are known for being late, but look at that thing. Oh my gosh. It's got six exhaust pipes on it. Hey, sir, how's it going? We'll take your car for you. Oh, yeah, look at that guy. Oh my gosh, look at the coat. He's got the designer coat too. Have a good time at the fundraiser. All right, uh, guys, I think our options just changed. This is uh, the Bugatti La Vorchenor, an $18 million supercar, okay? So the only way we're going to be able to uh, pull this one off is if we steal it, obviously. But also, they're very rare, so they're hard to get, you know, in the United States. And this is like one of three. So, uh, if they find a guy like me trying to sell this thing and I'm not even known, it's going to be kind of hard to sell. So, I think we're probably going to have to give up this car for $18 million, the Bugatti. I know, I know you guys want me to steal it, but 
It's $18 million, and we won't be able to sell it. So, all right, we're going with our option. The Ferrari, here we go. This is what we're stealing, boys. Let's get out of town fast. We're leaving the work truck here. It's got no plates or anything in it, so they don't really know me. And they think my name is Joe. Obviously, it is not Joe. So, all right, here we go. I'm heading to New York to sell this thing. See you later. All right, guys, we are late for our newest valet job, and we are flying there on our dirt bike right now. We can't mess this up. We are going to be valeting at this fancy Italian restaurant, Ciao Bella, also known as Little Italy, in the city of Erlingrad here. And we're going to pull up and valet a bunch of cars tonight. So it's going to be pretty crazy. They're paying top dollar. And of course, I show up late. So yeah, you guys know the role. We just park the cars in these spots. They're going to pull up here with fancy cars. This place costs like a minimum of $1,000 for one dinner. So if there's two of you, it's $2,000 to eat some Italian food, which is crazy. But it must be good. And we must be good because they hired us to do the parking of the cars. So I'm excited, guys. If you like these Valley episodes, make sure to hit the like button down below and also subscribe. And of course, we're going to be test driving some of these vehicles on the street because, you know, why not? Got a little drag strip behind us. Check it out. Look at this. This is a straightaway. So we're going to rip some cars on there. But yeah, we're going to wait for the first car to pull up. This place opens in five minutes. So Bob and Larry's security team up there, they'll let us know if they got a car pulling in. Just had a car pass through. Uh, white Range Rover over. Copy, copy that. Yeah, I see him coming down the driveway. Nice looking Range Rover. So the, t the owner of the restaurant doesn't want us to talk to the customers. So we're just going to take the car. Don't say a word. They should know where they're going. There he is. He's going to go enjoy a nice $1,000 dinner by himself. All right, then we'll take his Range Rover. This thing is sweet. SVR Range Rover. It's a supercharged engine. It's probably like 700 horsepower. So let's back it in. We'll put the SUVs on this side, and then the supercars can go on the other side of it. But looks good right there. Perfect. And it's a right-hand drive on this vehicle, which I've never done before. But I did manage to back it in good. The maximum capacity for this restaurant is eight people. And the reason they do that is to keep their service levels high and they're able to cater to anyone's needs at this restaurant. And obviously the price, they'll pay for himself. They're making about $40,000 a night if they get people in and out of this restaurant, which is insane. But all right, we're going to wait for uh, Bob or Larry to radio in for the next vehicle. Hopefully we get some supercars. Um, there's a lot of Ferraris and Lamborghinis in this town. And I do want to test drive one, but we're not supposed to, but we're still going to do it because why not? That guy's flying down the street. He's probably pulling in here. Oh, yep. This is the guy. Yo, Bob Larry, is that vehicle pulling in? Oh, yep. There he is. Yep, he's coming through uh, Blue Mustang. Looks like he checks out. Copy. Uh, yeah, he's driving uh, all over the place. I don't know what he's doing. Sir, stop at the cones. Stop at the cones. There we go. We'll take your vehicle for you. Enjoy your dinner. Wow, this thing is sweet. This is the new Mustang. Check me out. I got my yellow vest on. Got the new 2024 Dark Horse. This thing is a beast. Right, let's back it up. We're actually... Oh, no. I just hit the cone. Of course, we're going to take this thing for a little street test drive real quick. Uh, Bob and Larry aren't going to tell anyone. Yo, Bob, Larry, don't say a word. Got it? Copy. All right, here we go, boys. We're going to put the pedal to the metal on this new Mustang, boys. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's not in sport mode. Here we go. Kick it into sport mode. Oh, we're flying. Oh, no. Curvy road and a Mustang. Oh, no. We're going all over the place. All right, let's go back down to the straightaway. We'll be able to get an actual, like, 0 to 100 miles an hour and see what this thing can actually do probably gonna be like five seconds or something i'm not sure let's take a left here here's the straightaway the restaurant is all like there's no way to see outside the restaurant so the customers will never know we're driving their vehicle they may hear it but you know they're not gonna think it's their car because i just parked it all right let's swing around the roundabout and then we'll have a good start on speed oh no we're drifting oh my gosh indestructible ford built off baby here we go all right full speed let's see we're doing 20 why is this thing so slow at accelerating 40. Oh my gosh, it ain't as fast as a Ferrari or a Lambo, but I think we'll probably get one of those tonight to test drive on the street. Here we go. Let's take a right back into the restaurant. And also sundown is in like 20 minutes. So there should be a lot more people pulling up. A lot of people come to dinner later to these fancy places, like when it gets dark out. So let's park up this Mustang. We're going to put it over, I guess in the sports car section is fine. Let's back it in. Looking good. I love the front end of this thing. The uh, turn indicators look good. They don't have that animating turn indicator anymore, but still looks cool. All right. Looks good right there. Mustang Ford Blue. All right. We got another vehicle. I can hear it coming around the corner. Where is it? At? Oh, there it is. Well, that thing's all blacked out. He's flying in that thing. Yo, Bob Lurie, what kind of vehicle is that? We got a Ferrari uh, SF90 coming down the driveway. Copy that. That thing is sweet. All right. We're going to park this thing first, and then we'll take it for a ride later. But, oh, he's all over the place. Hey, sir. Park the car right there. Looks good. Enjoy the dinner. 
All right. Wow. Look at this thing. Ferrari. This thing is like a million bucks. Wow. Look at the tail lights on this thing. Wow. Those look sweet. Big exhaust pipes. All right. Let's go park it in the valet parking lot. We'll back it in right over on the other side. We don't need to put it next to a Mustang because this thing doesn't compare to a Mustang. You could buy about 10 Mustangs with the price of this Ferrari. All right. Looks good right there. We'll leave the running lights on. The accent lights look sweet. But all right, the sun is setting, so hopefully it doesn't get too dark before these vehicles uh, pull in. So I can still show you guys in the daylight, but yeah, we're waiting for the next vehicle. Oh my gosh, a car just flew past me faster than the speed of light. He's pulling in here. It's a red vehicle. Wow. Thing's got a big spoiler on it. I'm not sure what kind of car it is, but yo, Bob Larry, what kind of vehicle is that? Porsche, very nice vehicle. I like that car. Yeah, maybe your wife can buy it for you for Christmas. Yep, I really doubt that. All right, here we go. Welcome, sir, to Ciao Bella. Oh, 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 park parking car for you. You can stop right here. Enjoy your dinner. Oh, this thing's sweet. Oh, my gosh. Yo, Bob and Larry, keep it quiet on the down low again. All right, guys, I'll let you take it for a ride next. Here we go. Slam the accelerator. Oh, we were flying. We're doing 112. Oh, my gosh. It's quick roundabout. Slow down. Yeah, this thing is sweet. I do like Porsches. These things are very nice vehicles. Their handling is amazing. And the acceleration hit it. Oh my gosh, we're flying. I say we go to the straightaway real quick. Look at that. I didn't lose traction on that roundabout. Here we go. We're on the straightaway. Oh my gosh, we're flying. 160, 170, 180. Wow, that is quick for a 911 turbo. This thing must have some aftermarket exhaust tunes. It's got probably a supercharger on it. Wow, this is a nice vehicle. All right, let's pull back in. We'll park it up next to the Ferrari and take the Ferrari for a spin. And we shouldn't have too many more vehicles. Like I said, the max capacity is eight parties per restaurant. So you can have maximum of 16 people. Two times eight is 16. So you can only have eight parties of two and only eight vehicles in the parking lot, which is crazy. It's a very small restaurant, but it's very good. So all right, let's pull this thing in. We'll back it in between the two vehicles over here and then we'll take that Ferrari for a spin. A little bit of a transmission lag with this thing. Oh my gosh, is that close? I pulled the e-brake at perfect time and we almost just smoked the Ferrari. That would not be good. All right, let's back it in. Looks good, boys. This thing is sweet. Let's open up the door and check out the inside real quick. Wow, all leather seating. You got the all blacked out. We got two back seats too, but look at the leg room. There's no leg room there. So those are probably just for show. All right, let's close this thing up. Lock, lock, looks good. All right, we're going to take the Ferrari for a spin until the next vehicle pulls up. It's probably going to be only about two more vehicles, so we got some time here. I love the lights on this thing. It looks so sweet at night. They're all blacked out. It's like Batman flying by at 100 miles an hour. 120, 140. That Porsche is faster than this thing. That's crazy. All right, downshift, do a little U-turn. All right, let's fly on back. There's probably another vehicle that's going to pull in, but this car has been great so far. The interior is sweet. It's got cool buttons and everything. I don't know what I'd even do, but it's definitely a sweet vehicle. Let's pull back in, see if there's any new vehicles. Oh my gosh, what is that thing? That's a huge truck. Yo, Bob Larry, you hear me on the CB? Yeah, there was a giant monster truck that pulled through. The guy showed us his bank account balance, and uh, it all checks out, so he's good. He showed you his bank account balance? Yeah, he, uh, he's got like $25 million. Jeez, and he drives a giant monster truck. That thing is huge. I was back in the Ferrari here. It's probably going to take up two spots, man. We're going to have to charge him double for valet parking. Hey, do what you got to do. How was that uh, Ferrari? It was good. If you want to take your first spin, the keys are in it. All right. Wow, look at this thing. He left it running too, Bob. What, what's going on here? I don't know. He left a $50 bill under the seat, he said. All right. I'll take that. 50 bucks. Oh my gosh. Yes, sir. This thing is sweet. I don't know how to drive it. All right, here we go. We got the gears. One, two, three. So it is a manual, but it's a simple manual. So... If I shift it in at first, it'll go into... Oh, it's in drive now, okay. And then once we get it going about 20 miles an hour, we'll put it in second. Here we go. Oh, another supercar. That's probably guy going into the restaurant. We got one more reservation. Oh, there we go. Kick it into third. This thing's flying, boys. The S22 Monster Truck Havoc. Oh, my gosh. Thing just did a backflip and turned over. Oh, there we go. Do some donuts in the field. Wow, what a vehicle. It's got a giant high-powered engine. It's like a hot rod engine. Look at this thing just spin. It's got all-wheel steer, articulating steering. That's crazy. We can just drive over the fence right now. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. All right, let's park this thing up. It's going to take up two spots because it's so big. The, the tires on this thing are massive. All right, right there is probably good. Yeah, wow, it takes up two spots exactly. Wow. All right, next vehicle, that orange vehicle is coming down the street. There he is. Wow, look at that thing. What kind of vehicle is that, Bob? The Pagani Hyura. Uh, what, Hyura? Hyura. 
Oh, okay. I don't know what that means, but is it the model probably? Yeah, that thing's nice. Wow, looks like a spaceship. All right, he knows the drill. Park at the cones. Look at this thing. All right, let's open up the door. What does all these buttons do? Oh my gosh. That just opened up the engine. Oh, hey, sir. Sorry, I didn't mean to open that. Uh, go ahead, enjoy your dinner. I'll close it up, park it for you. Wow, he was getting mad. All right, close up the door. Let's park this thing. We'll put it next to the Ferrari. Looking good. Back it in. Wow, this thing is sweet looking. There's actually a spoiler that pops up at like 100 miles an hour, but this guy told me not to mess with the vehicle, so we're not going to test drive this one. And it is a giant vehicle. It's dark out right now, guys. I'm sorry, but, you know, the sun sets fast at these fancy restaurants, but this thing takes up the whole parking spot. It is a long and wide vehicle. It's a lot longer than the Ferrari, probably about by a foot. And we got a lot of nice cars. We got a Pagani, a Ferrari, a Porsche, a Mustang. And Mustang's still pretty cool. Range Rover, and then we've got the giant monster truck, the Havoc. Wow. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this valet video. It was a successful video because not only did we make 50 bucks from the monster truck guy, but we got paid $1,000 to valet all these vehicles for the night from the restaurant. So it was a successful night. So thank you guys for watching. Remember, if you do enjoy these videos, to hit the like button. And also subscribe if you guys haven't already. I appreciate it so much when you guys subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And we'll see you in the next one.